Howdy, uh, Mojave D here. I'm doing well. I hope you are doing well. We're going to revisit an old friend. I'm going to revisit an old friend. If you knew, if you just uh, started watching, um, I did complete Red Dead 2 uh, with Arthur, and we are in the epilogue. However, I want to get 100% completion. So let's look at our progress here. 100% of the story has been done. This is what I want to do. I want to get a gold medal on all of these. I did get one gold medal in chapter one. Uh, kill each deer with one arrow. Do not spook either deer. Get a clean kill on the second deer. So I did get one gold medal there. Um, the uh, we'll look at the, we'll come back to that in just a minute. The completion total completion is eighty six percent. Let me get my big head out of the way here. Hold on. Um, yeah, well, let's get it to where it's not going to be blocking anything. Uh, and I don't know where that would be. Let's put it in. Well, let's put it up top. I don't know. Let's put it, <laughs> put it right there. <laughs> All right. So total completion is eighty six percent. I want to get to a hundred gang hideouts. Four of six. So there's two gang hideouts I haven't found. Graves. I've only visited one. And that was uh, Arthur's. There's nine of them. Cigarette. All of this. Uh, legendary fish. Rock carvings. There's a lot. I mean a lot. The only thing, what is this? The only thing I've done here is I, nothing. <laughs> so, um, I wasn't really focused on it. And then the challenges, uh, completed a, a zero of 10, one of 10. Bandit, break the law in as many ways as you can. <laughs> it's going to be fun. Rob trains, become a highwayman and gain large bounties in every state. Zero. <laughs> and on down. Explore. Following clues on treasure maps. Explore the wilderness. Looking for hidden treasure. Find each location. I found one. I did one. <laughs> Horseman. Break every horse breed. Ooh, that, I'm, I'm in. I'm in. I won't do this. And ride quickly between towns. What? A horseman one, kill five rabbits from horseback. Horseman two, jump over three obstacles in 15 seconds. Uh, we haven't done any of th didn't do this. Ride from Valentine to Rhodes in less than five minutes. That should be easy. And that'll unlock another one. But as you can see, there's quite a bit to do. Master Hunter, uh, bow. Uh, skin three deer, collect three perfect rabbits, um, track ten different animals. I've only tracked with the binoculars, that's why. I've only done that once. Okay, so there's a lot to be done. Weapons expert, master the most challenging weapons in your arsenal. Dynamite, fire bottles, throwing weapons, and knives. Develop your skills. Kill three enemies with a knife. It's the only one I've done. Kill three enemies in 10 seconds using only throwing knives. And that'll unlock some more. That's going to be tricky. All right. So, um, as you can see, we have a lot to do. What I want to do is gold medals. Now, we got a silver here. Take no damage during the shootout. Loot six or more items from Adler Ranch. Complete with at least 80% accuracy. I did not do the first and third. Kill all the wolves without taking any damage and complete within at least with at least 80% accuracy. Didn't do that. We did get silver on this one. Pick up Javier when entering Horseshoe Overlook. 
complete within six minutes. I don't recall that at all. <laughs> all right. The one I want to do, well, I want to do one of my favorites. Um, let's, right, let's see. Polite Society returned the lost wagon horse to its owner. I did that. Find Karen within 45 seconds. That should be an easy one. The one I wanted to do, I want to do one of my favorite ones. The first shall be last. I didn't get any of this done, and this is one of my favorite missions. Silently kill the bounty hunters by the river with Javier. I swear I did that. I don't know. It's It said we didn't, but we did that. But it didn't get the check mark, so I don't know. We got to shoot the rope to free Sean. Did not know I had to do that. Okay, get 10 headshots. Complete the mission without taking any health items it's one of my favorite missions because in the first place it was hard to get to the point this meeting point right here because that's overlooking um uh blackwater is that the name of the town uh where we're wanted and it took me four tries to figure out how to get in there without the law uh seeing me so that was fun and then um I, it just surprised me i just got some i was just uh, I was surprised all the way through the thing. I, you know, I thought at one point we were when we found Sean on the boat. When we we look at him with the binoculars, that um, we just had four or five guys there on the boat and to take out, and that Sean we'd be able to get Sean in that pass, just around the corner in the pass there between the two cliffs. I was so wrong, and I was continually surprised throughout that whole thing. Uh, and didn't know how to use dead eye and I was um, I, I, I missed a lot of the conversation and interaction on the stories because I was I was so hyped up because we were we were in a territory where we were wanted and we had to do this mission and so I was expecting you know to get surprised and ambushed at every minute I missed a lot of the conversation so I want to do this so how do a uh, replay mission and hopefully when you do this, uh, it's Arthur. I really am hoping, you know, I mean, we're playing as John in the epilogue, but I'm hoping this is going to be Arthur. So replay mission, alert, our good old friend alert. Um, yeah, that's fine, alert. I'm, I'm good with it. I'm good with whatever you do here. So, 10 headshots, can't take any health items, shoot the rope, and kill those guys silently. Oh, yes! All right. I don't want to miss any of this. Uh, I can focus on the conversation now since I don't have to worry about getting jumped, you know, an ambush somewhere. I don't know if my head's in a good place for this. So, let's um, probably better, like, over here. I don't think it'll be blocking anything over there. Anyway, smoke them if you got them. I'm going to take a quick break before we jump into this. Get myself psyched up. I'm I'm excited. This is going to be I'm going to be fun. I want gold. I want gold. Y'all. All right, I'm back. When I was sitting out there and I was just thinking um uh, thinking about why I was I had such a hard time, uh, you know, first time through with all these challenges, uh, and I'm saying this for people that are new uh to the channel and don't understand that th it was a pure blind playthrough. Uh, I did not have the advantage that you probably have uh, or had when you did this of watching other YouTubers, um, you know, show you the way. And I did not watch any. And uh, my sons and my nephew were very diligent about deleting spoilers from the comment section. I mean, we went through a lot of pains took a lot of pains to make sure that um, <clears throat> I was completely blind going in. And so, of course, it was really hard for me to, to, to know what to focus on and what to concentrate on. I missed a lot of dialogue and all that and, and little things. And now that I have allowed myself to watch uh, some YouTube content on these things, um, things that really, just minor, just little pet peeves of mine, um, all these guys mounting from the right. They mount their horses from the right. 
you know, and that's 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 wrong. Sometimes you mount from the right if it's your horse, and you've trained that horse to accept you asking it to do things from the right or the left you want to do that with your own horse but if you're mounting a horse for the first time that you're not that you've never ridden and it doesn't know you and you approach it from the right it's going to move it's going to sidestep on you it doesn't want you on his back it's going to say what, what is this guy who is this guy he doesn't know what he's doing why is he mounting from the right and all these other youtube con con content guys and all the NPCs in this game they jump right up on the horse from the right now okay fine they're, they're they're familiar with the horse the horse knows them and all that and you can and and you can assume that it's been trained to accept you from the right that's fine but I'll tell you what man if you're a noob on a horse you know you're you, you're getting on a horse for the first time and you know somewhere and you get up on the right it's not going to be happy about it you know, it's going to not let you, it, it doesn't want you on its back. And right away, you've got trust issues. It's going, this guy doesn't know what he's doing, or this gal doesn't know what she's doing. Well, I'm not sure I want her on my back. You know, I'm not sure I want her telling me what to do. Because a horse, it needs to trust you and know that you're not going to ask it how to, to do something that it hasn't been trained to do. I don't know. What do you, you want me to jump over this river? I, I'm, I've never jumped over a river with a person on my back before. Or you're going to ask it to do something that might get it hurt. You know, it's, so it's not. So right away, you're going to have trust issues. Enough of that. My pet peeves. Oh, and then all the cleaning of the pistols. Loaded, cleaning, loaded pistols in your lap with your finger on the trigger. Little pet peeves. All right, enough of that. So, all right. I, but just for the new people that, that wonder, well, why did you struggle so hard with this? It's because I was completely blind. I had no idea. But let's go, man. I'm going to shut up. Let's go. Where is that little Irish bastard? I'm not quite sure. Trelawney's off trying to find out. Has anyone been in the black water to see how things lie? Places crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and ah. pictures of Dutch and Hosea. Oh, he got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's going to remain for now. Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. Well, they want to trial him publicly. Gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. Well, we can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or we cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike's. There you go. There you go. There you go. There, see, I missed that the first time through. Uh, what just happened there was one of the first examples of Charles, who just does the right thing naturally, correcting Arthur and saying, no, "We're not cutting anybody loose." Arthur's actually thinking about, "Look, but let's just let's just cut and run. Let's get out of here." And Arthur, I mean, Charles sets him straight right there. And then just the subtlety of the eyes, all that. I, I loved all of that. Scaldings, boys, are moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess we need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side? And we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go see. You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure. Well, we'll rescue Sean and then we'll get ourselves lost good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. Am I on Buell? I'm on Buell. Hold on, I've got Buell. Now, uh, now see right there again, stuff I miss or, or did, wasn't aware of, is that, what I'm not aware of, is that Arthur is a much better leader than Dutch. I mean, his, his plans are better. I mean, that's a great plan. So we've, you know, we got, it's got Charles going up to flank him and they're coming in this way, you know, and so that that's really, really cool. Am I on Buell? I think I'm on Buell. The other thing I need to I need to know is what are my wheel pawns? Um, a carbine repeater, a 
Lancaster repeater. I have a bolt action, so he has all of his weapons, all of his, all the stuff that he had. And now I didn't have any of this stuff the first time through, so this this will be an advantage. A rolling block, a pump, a bow. So I think what we want to do now. I had the carbine repeater the first time. So I think it's only fair. Well, no, <laughs> I've got it. Let's use the let's use the Lancaster, and uh, follow me. And the bolt action. Now in this um, mission, the other thing I did not know was that you can get a rolling block for free. I mean, excuse me, a bolt action for free. I have the rolling block. I don't want the rolling block. I do want the bolt action. You can pick up a bolt action. One of the NPCs drops it. I did not know that. And I did not get this bolt action for a long time. Let's see if we can track down this bolt. Because of it. Now, it's only giving me... So it's not going to give me the option to... Um, to... Um, dual wield. So I didn't have the... Um, the other holster, so I can't do a wheel. So we're going to use the the, uh, the Schofield, which I did not have at the time. This one's in better shape, it would it would seem. Um, Keep your eyes open for Pinkertons. They got patrols out all over this area. Yes. South of the river, West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. It's definitely as bad as we feared in there, Arthur. I forget which way we're supposed to go. Um, where am I supposed to go? I'm supposed to go head for the river. There it is. I haven't done this again since. All right. I think those might be our boys. All right, gentlemen, follow me. We'll follow them, nice and easy. Let's make sure it's him first before you go starting another war. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know... No. I did not do that. I did not. <laughs> uh, never mind. I was, I meant to hit LT. You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure. I meant well, to hit LT. We'll rescue Sean like and we'll get ourselves lost. And Good and proper. RT? It's a big country. I hope so. I have not improved. I have not improved How at are all. Boy? Oh, man. I have not improved. Not one bit. I can't believe I did that. And we wanted to switch. Uh, this gun needs to be cleaned. Uh, um, it looks like they, they both might need to be cleaned. Let's head up river and find this boat. Keep your eyes open um, for I Pinkertons. Wanted, I wanted to they got patrols you... out all over this area. Yes. I wanted to South clean. of the river, West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place I right now. I wanted to clean. It's definitely as bad as we feared in there, Arthur. I keep hearing about this woman, Heidi McCord. I guess we won't clean the gun. Yeah. Where are you guys? Are you guys following me? Down there. Reckon those might be our boys. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. 
Keep your guns away until we know it's Sean, okay? I know what you two are like. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know how life is. Never a straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? <laughs> oh, we'll never run out of people to rob. Come on, let's keep them in sight. You all right, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. Pick up the pace a bit. Apparently, there's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet and transfer before continuing out west. I imagine that's where they're headed. into shore. Get your binoculars out. Let's see what we're dealing with here. So who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skelton's boys, but I hear they're a big crew, and wild, built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep, that's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me. See, this is... <laughs> this is where I was thinking that we only had those four guys to deal with. And that... Um, um, they were just taking Sean up in that pass right there. And so we would just take these four guys out. I think there's another one, five maybe. And, um, and then rescue Sean. And boy, was I wrong about that. Okay, I paused it to get my eyeballs on. <laughs> I think I did this without my glasses the first time. And these, these are $13 Walmart readers. Um, you know what? Carbine. the only difference there. We should do this quietly if we can. Leave it to me, gentlemen. I'll go around and create a distraction. Then you two sneak across and do the dirty on them. Okay. Get your knife ready. Keep your head down. Wait. Okay, let's move down. Don't cross until he's got their attention. Wait here. He's still reeling them in. Gentlemen, excuse me. Dear brothers, my wife is taken ill. Gravely ill. What's the problem? It's dear Bessie. You take the one on the left. Where is she? Okay, come on. Stay low. I, I'm beside myself. I, if I lose 
friends, Bessie, I lose everything. Oh, calm down, mister. I, I can't! I can't! I, I'm having a fit! Come on, let's get up there. A pleasure as always, gentlemen. I think you have it from here. Come on. We got two halfway up the canyon to deal with. You got there, eh? Damn it, I forgot how to use that. Replenish my dead eye core. Um, uh, that's medicine, I can't take it. That does not do the core. Those guys back there drops the um what you call it. Hey, watch out for these two! Snake oil, put 
smoke snake oil, chewing tobacco. Um, ah, that doesn't do the core. Damn. Um, I don't have anything to, to take care of the core. Wouldn't go that far. Now there is a machete that this guy drops Come over on. here. Uh, the the bolt action is down there. But the guy that was shot up here, he drops a machete. Find it. Apparently he didn't drop it. Okay. I'm just doing that for the people. Um, in case you were wanting to do this yourself. Bolt action is on one of the first two guys that we killed down Charles, there. Charles, you take the right. I'll go left. Okay. Take him down. You I need headshots. What a damn army of these bastards. How much is Sean's bound? Maybe we should turn him in ourselves. Still time. Look out. Time. We got one shooting. Let's get Sean. Hey! Now, if you want to loot, this is the time to do it because as soon as you cut Sean down, the bad guys come. How are you, fellas? Quick, guards, before any more show up. I can't. I can't stay on. Oh, God damn it! Bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. Damn, I don't you know, think I did it. You're a lot less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. Not enough headshots. Uh, uh, do I get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost <laughs> brother now found. Love this guy. <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this gang. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. Now, see, there's there's another thing that I missed was that he would have. He would have let him go. But Charles, who always does the right thing, guided him and said, no, nah, we we're, we don't let anybody go, man. All right, let's see how we did. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <clears throat> Have I got stories for you? Yeah, I can't wait. <clears throat> I imagine y'all missed me a lot. But fear not, the joy's back in your lives now. Okay, so how do we do? Oh, what's going on? Wait, it didn't tell me how I did. Um. No, um, it didn't tell me how I did.
silver. A silver. But, but I want to see it. I want to see it. It didn't show it to me. Well, I got two of the things done. I'm going to think the thing I didn't get done was not getting the headshots. Um, show me. I, it won't. How do I see it? Oh, there. It's on the left. Silently kill the bounty hunters by the river. Shoot the rope. Yeah, the, t the 10 headshots. The 10 headshots. All right. Well, I'm going to replay it again. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, not record the whole beginning of it. We'll just record when we get to the action. So, I got to get those 10 headshots. So, uh, I won't record this, uh, all the, the first uh, conversation and all that part. Unless it takes us right into the action. Then we'll start. So I need to take a break and think what the heck, how I can do that better. Yeah, I won't record this. All right, place your bets, ladies and gentlemen. Place your bets. The odds are two to one that I don't get gold. <laughs> but I, I'm going to. So if you bet a bag of potato chips and I don't get gold, you get. I give you two bags of potato chips. Get in the river. Wait until he's but got if I do, guard before crossing. Then I'm gonna eat your bag of potato chips. Hold up, he's doing his thing. Gentlemen, gentlemen, excuse me. Dear brothers, my wife is taken ill, gravely ill. What's the problem? It's dear Bessie. You she take the one on the left. Where is she? Let's go now. Keep down. I, I'm beside myself. I, if I lose, if I lose Bessie, I lose everything. Oh, calm down, mister. I can't! I can't! I, I'm having a fit! Okay, let's get after him. A pleasure as always, gentlemen. I think you have it from here. Come on. We One got two, two halfway up the canyon to deal with. Drops the um, rifle. Que lindo those boots you got there. We're gonna have to shoot our way up there. Push up on them. Oh good. 
Wouldn't go that far. The cap's up. Charles, you go right, okay? I'm gonna go right with Charles this time. He has better angles. Take him down! Goddamn army! Let's get Sean and get out of here. I suppose I'll be owing you for this one. Fancy seeing you here. Who will let me cut him loose? Um. You're making heavy work of this, aren't you? Well, I'm trying to cut you loose, son. Do I have to put the knife away? Takes an army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean oh. McGuire. You know. You're a lot less ugly from game. that other angle, Arthur. Come on. Dang. Do we get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this gang. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it. I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot of Charles Edenstone. <laughs> I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him you out of here. Of potato, You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper uh, I can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <clears throat> Have I got stories for you? Yeah. I can't wait. I imagine y'all missed me a lot, but fear not, the joy's back in your lives now. Because I know I didn't get it. Um, where are, where are the challenges? Is it in the story? Silver. Complete the mission without. T oh, I had it if I didn't take that damn potion! I had it. All right, take three. Oh, too much about yeah, our time I zoomed boys, in so you can see it. But better. I hear they're a big crew, wild, 
Built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep, that's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about uh, the other I'll two down there? We'll down there? I... Okay, all bets are off, and I am not going to talk. <laughs> you take the one on the left. Let's go now. Keep down. I, I, I'm beside myself. I, if I lose, if I lose Bessie, I lose everything. Oh, calm down, Mister. I, I can't. I can't. I, I'm having a fit. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's get up there. A pleasure as always, gentlemen. I think you have it from here. Come on. We got two halfway up the canyon gate. The wind or those boots you got there, eh? Who's the guy you got them from? <laughs> Get up there. Far. The camp's up this way. Come on. I'll take the left side, Charles. You go right, okay? I guess. Let's take these hijo putas. Come on, drop them. Damn, I wanted to stay up there. Damn army of these bastards. How much is Sean's bounty? Maybe we should. Still time. On top of the tower. Who's got a shot on him?
Yes, Sean. Hey, someone cut this rope. Me head's killing me. I'll be owing you for this one. What are you doing, Arthur? You know, you're a lot less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. <laughs> Do I get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this gang. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it. I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <coughs> Have I got stories for you? Yeah, I can't wait. <coughs> I imagine y'all missed please. me a lot. Please, but fear please, not, please. the joy is back in your lives now. I'll maybe do it again. All right, man. Thank you all for watching. Y'all take care of yourselves. We'll see you on the next one. Appreciate it very much, man. Oh, like, wait, before we go, did that do anything for my um, completion percentage? No, nope, it's still 86. All right, all right. We'll see you later for real, man. I'll get to work on the next one, which is going to be Red Dead 1. Uh, be working on Red Dead 1 here in just a few minutes.